Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a comparison of my two Louis Vuitton Nevels. I own the GM and the MM. I hauled the MM on my channel a few weeks ago, and since then I've had a few requests to do a comparison and review, so I thought that's what I would do. So I have both bags here, and this is the GM, and I have this in the monogram. I've had this for going on four years, so I have had it a pretty long time, as you can probably tell from the very patina fichetta. And then this is the newest addition to my Nevel collection, which is the Damia Iza and I got this in the Rose Ballerine lining and as you can tell from the Vachetta it's very very new indeed. So I'm going to be going through uh, the size comparison mostly focusing on size. I'm going to be doing modeling shots and then I'm also going to be filling the MM and kind of showing what can fit in that. I'm not going to fill the GM just because it's a big bag. We could be here for a very long time um, but I will be talking about what can kind of fit in each. Uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not going to be doing a full-on review just because I feel like I've talked about this bag so much but I I will be doing an updated wear and tear. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'm gonna get stuck right in. So I thought I would give a quick overview of my GM since this is the one I've had the longest and kind of a brief background I guess. So I bought this four years ago as I mentioned and the thinking behind this was that I just wanted a everyday daily tote. I didn't realize then just how everyday it would be. So after I bought this in the first two years, no joke, I carried it every day, like every single day. I got so much use out of this bag. I still totally love it. It's just so easy and I just totally fell in love with the functionality. I think this is pretty much the first like proper tote, like this style tote that I had. And so since then I've really discovered that I really, really like this style. And um, so I got it for my birthday and I went in to pick it out in store and I was pretty set on the GM. I thought that I might try them on and I kind of decide there, but I had the feeling that I was gonna go for the GM. I tried on the MM and for me, it just looked way too small. It looked very out of proportion for me. I am quite tall, so I'm five foot seven. And I'm not like super tiny and petite. And so for me, I just liked the GM. I thought it was more flattering on me. I thought its functionality was better. I liked the fact that it could fit loads. I'm definitely a big bag kind of girl. Um, and so it was pretty much a no brainer. You know, as soon as I, I tried on the MM, it was a, nope, get it off, I want the GM. And so to get home with me, totally happy with it for like three and a half years, I would say. And I kind of had in the back of my mind that I wanted to try out the MM at some point. I talked about getting another Nev for uh, last year for my birthday. And I ended up getting a different bag completely. And then at Christmas, I was gifted the Troy Birch Perry Tote, which is a fairly similar size to my MM. And I just kind of fell in love with it. And the more I used that, the more I felt it was a much neater and kind of pulled together look. And the more I used it, the more I felt that my GM was just a little bit too oversized and it just didn't look as neat as I wanted to for every day going to work. So. That kind of made me, I guess, adjust my position a little bit. So I went ahead and got the MM and I've totally fallen in love with that too. I don't think it's replaced my GM at all. And you know, I love this style bag so much. I pretty much could have one in every style and every size, except maybe the PM, because that's very, very small, but I really, really like it. Um, so I am gonna be showing you what can fit in each one. Um, but in terms of just the practicality, this for me now is much more of a travel bag, I would say. I have been using this still as a daily bag. It's still something I reach for if I know I have a really crazy busy time at work and I, I know I'm gonna be carrying lots of stuff. This is definitely still my go-to because there is no size limitation with the GM at all. Whereas with the MM, I definitely still have to think about what I'm gonna put in it. You know, it's not a free-for-all. I can't fit as much as I possibly, possibly can. Whereas with the GM, I feel like the only restriction is how much I can physically carry because it's that big. And you know, you can tell just from the sizing how absolutely enormous that is. I've used this as an overnight bag for, I can fit a weekend's worth of clothing in here. Like it can fit a lot of stuff. So for me, the limitation really isn't the size, it's the sheer weight of it. It's a very, very comfortable bag. And um, you know, the leather is now very soft. You know, it's super comfortable to wear on my shoulder. It's just so great to carry. And that's why I love it so much. Um, bringing up the MM. So it's, a much neater looking bag, I think, which is why I really like it. You know, for every day, it just feels like a more suitable and practical option. Um, as I said, I still use the GM for every day, but if I wanna look a bit more smart and pull together, this is absolutely the size I would go for, but it's not quite as carefree and, you know, I can fit as much as I want to in there because as you can see, you know, it's, it's a lot of room, but it isn't a, I can use this as my overnight bag. Like that would never be an option with this. 
So I'm gonna bring them both up so you can kind of see the difference. So as you can see, there is a handle drop difference. So this has longer handles than the MM. They're both pretty comfortable to wear on the shoulder though. So that isn't really an issue for me. And that is what they look like. So basically the MM is just a shrunk down version of the GM. I'm gonna try and match them up so you can exactly see the kind of size difference we're talking about here. So you can see, you know, it is taller. You have all this extra width here. And then I think it's a little bit wider as well. So that is the two of them. The GM I think is considerably bigger. I feel like they're not showing up that small on camera, but for me, the GM just can fit so much more. It really is a kind of really carefree go anywhere bag, whereas the MM is a lot more, it is a lot more reserved, I would say. Okay, so I have filled the nail full, pretty much full. Obviously, you can see that there is some room up at the top, but I wouldn't really fill it with any more than this. It's pretty heavy, and really, you wouldn't be able to find things very easily if you fit much more, um, and even now, it's not the easiest to find things in. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I packed it with. So I just have the book I'm reading at the moment, which is The um, Miracle Morning, which is a great book. I highly recommend it. I just have a pouch. I have a makeup pouch, I have my phone, have a pair of sunglasses, I have my key holder, I have a camera, I have my Emily wallet, I have my Tangle teaser, my LV agenda and I also have my laptop as well oh and I also have some cements and so that's the bag completely empty I do have a pouch in here which I never actually fill I don't really know why um, but yeah so you also have the pocket as well which I haven't filled either so that is the size of it now I'm going to transfer all these contents into my GM so you can see how much extra room you have so here is my ginormous Neville. I'm going to put my laptop in here first. And then I'm gonna put in my cosmetic pouch, my agenda, the pouch that I carry tissues in, my Emily wallet, my key holder, my phone, my Tangle teaser, my camera, my book, uh, my sunglasses, and some smit. And as you can see, there's just a lot more room. Like that's not even kind of filling it halfway full. There is a ton of room at the back here, if you can see that. Uh, there's just also a lot of height here. There's just a lot of space. And this is kind of what I mean in that it's much easier to see things, whereas there wasn't a whole lot of room to maneuver in the MM. Whereas here is just everything you can kind of see because it's a bit more spaced out. So I'm just gonna take the book away so you can actually see, but that's what the contents look like. So there is quite a bit more room. Uh, so for that reason, that's why I'm saying the kind of GM is perfect for a super busy work day or traveling, whereas the MM is really only good for kind of a normal working day for me. In terms of the wear and tear, um, this bag obviously has been very, very used, but I still think it's done absolutely fantastically. The Vachetta has patinaed a lot. A lot of this is dirt, and I've been saying this for about a year, that I was gonna clean it, and I still haven't, so that might never happen. But I think if I cleaned it and really took care of it, then I think it would look a lot better than it does. Uh, I do I, I do think I wanna do like a patina project, um, see if I can kind of reduce it and get the Vachetta back to more of what it was. But honestly, I kind of like the honey patina now, so. I don't know, it's just not that high on my list of priorities, but I think I will do it because I think it'll be interesting to see um, how much you can actually do to it. But that's pretty much the only way I can think of. Um, the canvas looks pretty much good as new. Like there is nowhere on the corners at all. It's just pretty much indestructible. Uh, I will say one big bit of wear that I've noticed, and this has only happened pretty recently, so I'd say in the last 
couple of months, I would say, is the inside of the pocket. If you can see that. Um, the inside is kind of peeling, so all of this is just loose, and so I can just kind of peel that off, um, revealing the kind of material. So it is coated, um, I'm assuming to make it more durable, but this has begun to peel. Um, obviously, that's quite a big deal, but at the same time, I really, I don't hold it against this bag. I've used this possibly like 700 times or something like that, like I've used it a lot. So it's inside the pocket, it doesn't bother me, but it is obvious wear, so I wanted to show it. Uh, in terms of the lining, the lining is pretty durable, I think you can just wipe it clean. I have spilled a whole ton of things in here, um, it's really gone through the walls of this bag and it's quite difficult to show. But I think this colour lining does pretty well. This is in stark comparison to my Damier Azur, which I think the canvas on the outside is still pretty durable. I haven't had any issues with it, but the lining is a different story. It marks like crazy. Like, I don't know why. I have so many just little black marks. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because the lighting, but it marks very, very easily. And so I have been meaning to get a bag liner. I got a ton of suggestions on Instagram. I just haven't got around to it yet, but that is something to keep in mind. Um, it's just because I guess it's so pale coloured. I'm not sure why this is so different from the beige, but it does mark up pretty easily. So if you're super fussy about linings, that's definitely something to consider if you're attracted to the rose lining. But for me, it's just so pretty that I don't really mind. So in terms of the rest of the wear and tear, obviously I haven't had this really long enough to say, but um, immediate thoughts are definitely the lining. Um, but apart from that, if you're gonna go for a different combination, especially the Damier Ebene, I hear that's very, very durable and very waterproof as well. So I definitely wouldn't be averse to getting the Damier Ebene. As I said, I've really been liking this style for every day and I think it looks very, very nice uh, in the Damier Ebene in the MM size. I'm not as fussed about the Damier Ebene in the GM and for some reason I just like different canvases and different materials in different sizes. I'm not really sure why, but um, yeah, for me, I would definitely be considering getting another MM in the Damier Bean in the future. So I'm gonna do some quick modeling shots just to show you the size difference. So this is obviously the GM, and it looks completely ridiculous in my opinion, just on the crook of your arm, so I never really hold it like this. It actually covers me like it's huge. And so I just like to carry it on the shoulder like so. And obviously it's still very, very large, but I like the look of it. I think it looks very, very chic still. And then that is in comparison to the MM size, which I think you can wear on the crook of your shoulder, and I think that looks totally fine. Crook of your shoulder, crook of your arm, sorry. <laughs> and then that's what it looks like on the shoulder. And then if I was going to wear them both on the shoulder, not the other would, but for the purposes of this video. And then just as a kind of side by side comparison on the crook of my arms rather awkwardly, this is what they look like. In terms of my preference and which one I would go for, I still think that the GM edges it just because I love it so much as a travel bag and I really wouldn't be without it. I can use this for every day and I still do and I still really like it. As I said, more generally, I do prefer the MM size for every day just because I think it does look a bit neater. But if I could only have one, then I would use this um, just because I can use it for both, whereas this I can only really use for work. So I think this does the job better as an everyday kind of neater look but at the same time, this just does everything and it still looks pretty good and pretty chic, I think. I really like the look of it. So that would be my preference. Obviously, if you're concerned about this looking too big, you can always cinch it in. Um, I don't really do that because for me, it just doesn't really seem to stay and I don't know, I just don't really like the look of it that much, but you can do that and I just suppose it does kind of lend a slightly different look to it. So you kind of can tuck in the sides, but I've never done that. I've never liked the look of it, to be honest, so I always just kind of open them out because I really like the look of it. It's just an open tote, but yes, yeah, so that would be my preference. GM, if I could only have one, but MM otherwise, if that makes sense. <laughs> And that's it for my never full comparison. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and you found it useful. If you have any questions about these bags, then let me know in the comments section. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.